Hi, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. Last week, I shared with you the six steps that I incorporate when I'm asking my audience what their real challenges are. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to technically set all of that up inside your Squarespace website. So let's begin. So this is what the landing page looks like once we are done. As you can see, I have the top navigation as it is intact, the banner image with some text, the page with some content itself, and a button that opens up to my form. This is where you'll be sending your readers. Before I go any deeper, I just wanted to point out that in the blog, if you go to blog post number 53, you will see a step-by-step -step breakdown of all the things that you need to do so you can follow along there as well. So there are a total of seven steps and you can follow them from the blog as well. All right, so let's begin. First, go down to your not linked section. And here you're gonna click on the plus sign, select page and I'm going to call this 1Q demo, but you would call it whatever you like it to be. And I'm going to start with a blank page. I'm going to look for that in my not linked section. Here it is. Click on the wheel. Make sure that your navigation title, your URL slug, your page title are all correctly written and then jump over into media. This is where you're going to upload your image. So click on the arrow sign, look for your image, click open, you can move the image focal point exactly where you want it to be so it will center your image and hit save. There it is. Now jump over here, click on edit, and you're going to type in your page title. I like to call it one question. Hit save, then jump over here to start editing your page. Click on edit. So just enter the text, and I have already prepared that so I'm just going to copy and paste it like so. It's pretty straightforward really. Next look for the teardrop icon, click on it and look for form and give it a name so you can track it. I'm gonna just call it a demo. Name, email, subject, I don't need that. I'll just move the message all the way to the top and I'll enter my question here. I'll click on edit to add a description text. I don't really need a placeholder text, so I'll leave that empty. I'll make sure that it's uh, clicked here so it's required. However, I'll keep the name and the email address unclicked so that people will have a sense of anonymity. Then I'll click on storage, make sure it's linked to my email. I'll connect it to my Google Drive. Give it a name so that you can track it. I'm not going to connect it to MailChimp. I'm gonna leave that as it is. And under advanced, I'm going to change the submit button to have a call to action that's a little bit interesting, center the button, and you can customize your post submit message. Thank you. And to turn this form into a button that pops open, click on the enable lightbox mode and write a call to action that's interesting. Here I'm writing click to influence the content I create. Click apply. And that is it. Click save and then check out what your page actually looks like when it's live. 
and this is what my newly created landing page looks like. I'm going to remove some of the space, but other than that, this is good to go. So that's it. Now you have your landing page to send your readers to, to fill out this form and let you know what challenges they're facing. So my friend, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please go ahead and build this landing page for yourself. Ask your audience your one question and do share with me in the comments the URL of your landing page as I'd like to take a look at it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.